on our way today. A great day. I'm super excited about today. I'm excited really about every day. But today I have the privilege of sitting down with Felicia Moore, uh, the new president of our city council. Um, when she was running for office, she stopped by the Wee Street Baptist Church and said, I'm going to keep in contact. I didn't just stop by to get votes. I'm here to serve the community. So I'm so joyful and excited. I'm super duper excited that she's kept her promise and that she's going to come by the show today and talk about her vision and her journey. You know, I'm, I'm always interested in people and their journeys. I'm interested how people have navigated their journey, found their sense of call, and done what God has called them to do. You know, when I think about our church, Wheat Street Baptist Church, that's what it's about for us. We care about people. When we say we are a church in the heart of Atlanta, with Atlanta in our heart, we mean we love the people of the city. We care about you. We care about what you care about. We care about your journey, where you're going, how we help you get to where you're going, and how you begin to live outside yourself. To be a part of this loving community called Atlanta, to find your place, to find community, to find purpose, and to do something bigger than yourself, to help the most vulnerable, to help the least of these, to find purpose and meaning. And I'm sure Felicia Moore has found it. We're gonna talk about it at the show. So let's go to AIB, go through Atlanta traffic, and talk to Felicia Moore. Here we go. We're here at AIB. That's Tracy Littlejohn. She's the doing? producer. She makes me work so hard, but I love her. And this is this here is Felicia Moore. She's our city council president. She is totally Hi. awesome. I am so excited that she's here. She promised when she ran for office she would come to church, but come back and talk with me. And I'm like super duper excited. This is gonna be fun. Welcome. So let's start this way, uh, Sister Moore. Let's talk about your journey. Okay. Mm -hmm. This issue of leadership, what makes you, I like what you say, you are a public servant in a political environment. Talk about your journey a bit. Well, I think my journey began certainly when I was a kid. Being on the campaign trail, I really realized the experiences I had in my childhood, how they led me to where I was. My dad was always active and involved and concerned about community issues. He fought for the segregation of the school system. He fought to make sure the kids were safe when they were going to the desegregation schools. He fought to make sure that um, there was representation on the board from the areas that were going, that were being bused to other schools. And then eventually he fought for the first school board representative once they won a federal court. And then he became one of those the school board members. So I've always been around people that were doing a lot of service and I didn't realize how important and how impactful that was in my personal life. So what, 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 what do you get out of serving? What, 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 what brings you joy? What makes you get up in the morning and live in this political environment as a public servant? I think just uh, being able to connect with people and to help them. Being able to assist people in one way or the other. Sometimes it's just a matter of being there and being able to be a listening ear. I can't resolve everyone's issues, everyone's problems, but being that resource that if I can't resolve it, maybe I have some suggestions of someone or just be, sometimes people just want to be heard. And I, and I enjoy that. And I enjoy community service. I've always been active and involved. I was the one who was in all the extracurricular activities from brownies to Girl Scouts to uh, student government at the high school level and college level. So I've always wanted to be active and involved in other things. So here's what I think. I think Atlanta is in good hands. Felicia Moore is amazing. She's a compassionate leader. She cares about the people she serves. That's a key to quality leadership. Mm -hmm. Caring about the people. 